Number 8. If you have the Oculus app installed on your mobile device, you can actually see your phone notifications directly inside the headset. On the mobile app, select Menu, Devices, Phone Notifications, and check the box that says Phone Notifications inside of VR. Inside the Quest 2, go to Settings, Notifications, and enable the same setting. If your phone and headset are connected via Bluetooth, it should work. Number 7. The Quest 2 actually has a built-in voice commands feature that allows you to do basic functions with just your voice. To set it up, go to Quick Settings, then select this Voice Commands button. After you've gone through the setup, you can double tap the Oculus button to activate it anywhere, or just say, hey Facebook. Number 6. You can actually change the virtual home environment you started when you boot up the headset. So if you go to Settings, Virtual Environment, and select whichever one you want to change to. Number 5. To get some of the Quest 2's craziest features that are still being tested, you can go to Settings, Experimental Features, and turn on the ones that you want to activate, like 120Hz and other helpful features. Number 4. If you want to get Quest 2 games that have not yet been officially released on the Quest Store, you can use a feature called App Lab. If you know the name of an App Lab game, you can simply look it up on the store, go to the App Lab section, and install the game. Number 3. You can actually use your real-life hands as controllers in the Quest 2's home environment and some VR games. To turn hand tracking on, go to Settings, Device, Hand Controllers, and enable the hand tracking feature, as well as the option to automatically enable it when the controllers aren't detected. Number 2. If you have a powerful gaming PC and you want to turn your Quest 2 into a PC VR headset, you can use Oculus Link to do this by setting up your PC for PC VR, connecting it to your Quest 2 via a cable, then going to Quick Settings and clicking on this Oculus Link icon. Number 1. To use the Quest 2 to its full extent, you can do what's called sideloading to access your device through a PC and install early access games, unreleased features, and more. I will be making a sideloading tutorial soon, but until then I have linked a tutorial in the card at the top of the screen. But there you go. That's eight Oculus Quest.